Alrighty, so this is a tutorial on how to configure and customize DWM, Dynamic Window Manager, by Sockless. So, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to list the files in my directory to make sure I have the DWM folder in the current directory, which I do. If you don't, you're going to need to move into the directory where DWM is, um, or move it into another directory. Okay, so I'm going to change directory into DWM now. As you can see, my path is now DWM. Um, and you should have in this folder um, a file called config.h. This is the file we're going to be working with today. So you're going to want to open this file up for editing. I'm going to use NeoVim. You could use Vim, um, VS Code, Sublime Text, whatever. Alrighty, there we go. So now that we're in the file, you should be able to see a section um, with all these like hex values here. This is all the color, um, the colors that uh, DWM is using for like the background, the foreground, um, and mainly just for the bar up here. So if we take a look down below here, we see um, the colors, and this is a list of three. So we have two. Uh, we have scheme normal and scheme. Um, selected scheme selected is um, all the boxes and things that are selected in your menu like as you can see uh, like what is it uh, window one is selected so therefore it's going to be using these colors as defined um, and all the stuff that isn't selected like two three up to nine um, and this as well and some of this stuff up here is going to be using the scheme normal definitions for colors um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your own color we can just configure the ones that are already there. Um, I've named a new color, color weird, because um, I'm weird, I guess. I don't know. Um, but you can name it really whatever you want um, and make sure the color value is in hex. That's really important because that's what DWM uses. Um, so then you're going to want to, like, you know, edit the file and put in your own color definition. And then you're going to want to change this down here so it actually shows up. So, yeah, I've ex as I explained, foreground colors, so color gray, four. So for everything that's selected, the text color is going to be this whitish color, so gray 4. So it's going to be this hex here. Um, and then the background color is going to use this hex here because it's color weird, which it, which it is using. So that's good. Now if we go down here, you can also see um, some of the icon configurations for DWM. So like the, the windows that you're on. Um, I've added this custom little icon here, the Lambda icon because it's cool I guess, but you could really add whatever you wanted here, like the Arch Linux icon, um, anything really. Uh, you guys will probably just have one through to nine um, if you're just using the default install, if you haven't really configured anything yet. Um, and then we get, if we go down here, we have all the hotkeys and stuff. You can change this as well. I think the hotkey for default is Alt on the keyboard. Um, then it tells you all the like sort of hotkeys for that. You can configure it really however you want. Um, and we've got some stuff up here as well. So like D menu, um, maybe I'll make a video on how to configure D, D menu, um, and ST, the ST terminal, which I'm using as well right now. And then you've also got some things up here. Okay. So once you're done editing the file, you're going to want to escape right quick. If you're using NeoVim, if you're not just really just save the file, uh, and this should, will write the new configuration to the DWM config.h file. And the, one of the most important steps is you're going to want to recompile DWM. So you're going to want to write um, sudo make clean install. This um, recompiles DWM and all the files in it. Um, and it will like change what you've written in it in the file, in the config.h file. So you're going to want to press enter. Um, and then once that's done, you might realize that nothing's changed. That's because you need to um, log out of the session, log out of the um, X11 or Xorg window session, um, and then log back in. So you got to run up here, Alt, Shift, and Q. This will send you back to a, a CLI interface, like a command line interface. Um, and you're going to want to type exit again, all the way back until it, it um, asks you for your username and then password. Then you're going to want to log back in again, start X, you know, all that jazz. Um, and then you'll boot back into DWM and your Arch configuration and everything should be changed. So yeah, that's a quick rundown for beginners on how to customize um, and configure DWM. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, look out for some new videos on how to configure D menu um, and ST. 
as you can see I have the menu up here I haven't really configured it yet but I will um, or maybe I might configure Rofi um, as a menu application but yeah leave a like uh, subscribe and let me know what you want to see next see you